Treatment. 1000 people, 1000 patients currently suffering from a disease were selected to study the effectiveness of treatment of four types A, B, C and D. Very topical, very relevant now. These patients were first randomly assigned into two groups of equal size, so 500 each, called treatment group and control group. This is how it is typically done. The patients in the control group were not treated with any of these medicines. Instead, they were given a dummy medicine called a placebo. Okay. Containing only sugar and starch. The following information is known about the patients in the treatment group. A total of 250 patients were assigned with type A medicine and a total of 210 were treated with type C medicine. The moment I read this, I know that type A, type C, these two, they just add these numbers, it's 460. That means it looks like we're going to have a bunch of people who have been given A and C, B and C, A, B, C, B, C, D, etc, etc. It's not a total adding up to 500 with four groups, right? so, which means we're looking at set theory. When there is an A intersection, B, B intersection, C, all of that, that is going to be there. Right? 25 patients were treated with A type A medicine only, 20 were treated with type C medicine only, 10 were treated with type D medicine only, A only, C only, D only. Right? Let's go on. 35 were given A and D only, 20 were given A and B only, 30 were given A and C only, 20 were given C and D only. 100 were treated with exactly three types of medicines. I'm not going to register all of this because I, chances are I can't retain all these numbers. We are talking about A intersection, B only, A intersection, B intersection, C only, uh, A, B only, B, C only, etc, etc, etc. So I'm going to go revert to the Venn diagram, the standard format of dealing with this, and then fill all the data in. And so, it's a beautiful representation of four sets Venn diagram. Set A, set B, set C, set D. And then this part is A intersection B only. This is B only, A only. Each of these regions that I have marked are those regions only. Keep that in mind. So this is A only, A and B only, B only, C only, C and D only, D only and so on. So suppose you wanted to find A intersection B, you have to include all of this. A and B only, A, B and C only, A, B and D only, A, B, C and D. Each of these regions, remember, this region does not represent does not represent A intersection, B intersection, C. It represents A intersection, B intersection, C only. Keep that in mind. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 regions defined. None of these will be outside. That's not our scenario. Overall, 500 have to be accounted for here. So with this diagram, it becomes very uh, easy to fill in the data. And it becomes very tough, annoyingly tough to uh, intuitively track four sets and so it is best to plug in whatever you have and then go for go for the figuring out part right now i can't register all the data this is look at this there are, there are 15 data points and, and then you could be given total of a total of c total of b as well it's impossibly tough to retain all of that and then have some sense of intuition with it plug in a few numbers see where that takes us then come back and figure out whatever we need to figure out okay. A total of 250 were treated with type A medicine. So this should be 250. And 210 with type C. This is 210. Lovely. 25 were treated with type A only. So this is 25. 20 were treated with type C only. So this is 20. And 10 were treated with type D only. This is 10. I'm going to fill in whatever I can based on the data. Then we'll figure out the rest. And I fill these in. And then 35 were treated with A and D only. A, D only. This should be 35. Lovely. 20 patients were treated with A and B only. So this is 20. 30 were treated with A and C only. 30 here. Lovely. 20 were treated with C and D only. This is 20. It's again, lovely. So we're filling quite a few. 40 were treated with types of medicines A, B and C, but not of type D. A, B, C, but not D. This is 40. Lovely. 20 were treated with A, C and D, but not B. A, C and D, but not B. This is 20. Lovely. So we're filling quite a few. See, so fill quite a lot of data points. Let's go ahead. 50 were given all four types of medicines, 50. And so we filled quite a few. So this is 250, this is 210. We filled 
this is not there but we filled almost everything here in only about one two three four five that are remaining even in this five we know the total is 500 so if we get four we can get the fifth one is there any other inference we can make c total is 210 if we get no there are, there are big gaps in c two gaps in c a total is 250 yeah we can get this we have this 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 we can get this and so we can make those inferences a adds up to 250 what can we find from here we can add we can find a b d how do you do that 25 plus 35 these two add up to 60 i like to club the five terms together 60 80 120 150 170 220 220 overall so this number should be 30 and just to, just checking this 30 50 80 100 130 170 190 190 plus 60 250 lovely so we can find this we have to fill that in let's go further 100 patients were treated with exactly three types of medicines exactly three types of medicines would be a c and d only a b and c only b c d and d a b d only 20 plus 40 60 plus 30 90 this should be 10 75 were treated with exactly one type of medicine 75 exactly one this 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 we know 20 plus 10 30 30 plus 25 is 55 75 totally or b should be 20 with only one type so 25 plus 20 45 plus 20 65 plus 10 75 that also adds up so we need to get bc and bd and let's see if we can get both of them and c adds up to 210 c is this chunk that should add up to 210 30 plus 20 50 100 140 150 170 190 so all these add up to 190 so 30 50 100 140 150 170 190 or this should be 20. lovely so we've got everything here almost everything that we need so these three are filled these three are filled these three are filled these three are filled these two are filled only this is missing how do we find that overall everything put together adds up to 500 do the math and then get good everything put together is 500 a totally adds up to 250 keep that in the bag so the remaining should add up to 250 good 20 plus 20 40 40 plus 20 60 80 90 100 these all add up to 100 or bd should be 150 to add everything up we know that a is 250 so the remaining should be 250 remaining not including a add everything up it adds up to 100 this should be 150 so it's unusual so when i came to this point i was very surprised i said all numbers are 10 20 30 40 25 35 and then suddenly there's the 150 so i did a double take but it turns out it is indeed 150 so this number should be 150 Lovely. Now we've got everything filled in. Now all we've got to do is answer the questions. Fine. How many patients were treated with medicine type B? Let us add everything up here. 20 plus 20, 40, 80, 100, 150, 160, 160, 190, 340. Okay. This alone is 150, 150, 200, 250. 300, 340. Just clubbing in 100s and 50s. 340. Done. The number of patients who were treated with medicine types B, C, D, but not A. B, C, D, but not A. This number 10. Done. Very routine question. Once you've got the grid, you're just plugging in the answers. How many patients were treated with medicine types B and D only? B and D only. This is the, this is the anomalous looking number. The number that is a little uh, off. Everything else is in a reasonable range. This is out of whack off the charts. But uh, once you've got the answer, maybe do a double take. But you've got to have the confidence to plug ahead. That is 150. The number of patients who were treated with medicine type D. D, that means we're adding all of this. I'm going to leave this 35 separately. Add the rest. 20, 50, 30. This adds up to 100. 100 plus 150, 250. 260, 270, 290, 290 plus 35. 325. I don't want to deal with the 5 part, I'm dealing with that later. 30, 40, 190, 220, 270, 290, 325. Hopefully that is also correct.